This is like the best wash and go I've ever done in my life. Wow. Wow. Oh my God. Wow. It's been a while since y'all have gotten an update about my hair. I think the last time I did an update might have been whenever I was doing my nine month update post Big Chop, right? Right? Y'all remember? Y'all remember? Y'all remember the Big Chop, right? So right. this is what my hair is looking like right now. Well, it is officially two years since I Big Chopped my hair and this is what we got it looking like. Oh, oh jump, jump scare. <laughs> yeah, jump scare indeed. I know. Um. I'm quite embarrassed, especially because I have not washed my hair in almost a week, <laughs> if not a week. Oh God, it might be more. Oh my God, it's more than a week. Oh my God, yeah, okay. So guys, today I'm doing a wash and go, as in I'm going to wash my hair. <laughs> yeah, I promise. And we are going to be using a diffuser for the first time. I've never used a diffuser. I've used a blow dryer, but I've never used a diffuser, right? And of course, since I wanted to go ahead and get a diffuser, I just had to go ahead and get a whole new blow dryer at that. So with this blow dryer right here, guys, I should be able to get everything that I need out of it, okay? And um, I'm really excited to use it because I've never really done a wash and go that I feel like it's successful. I think I've only done one, one, blah, wow. I've only done one wash and go. And a lot of people kept talking about my roots in the video. And this time I want to do justice. I want to do justice for it. Like I really do. Um, so yeah, this is what we're looking like. Um, and oh, I guess this is kind of giving like a mini length check without really giving a length check. But yeah, this is my hair right now. Um, and I think maybe like, maybe I'll do another length check post summertime when I get my hair um, silk pressed, maybe in the winter time, like in the fall, right? Because we know how I like to get silk presses in the fall. But I wanted to go ahead and show you guys what it's looking like from here, so you guys can get like a mini length check. This is the length that we're looking at, which for me, are growth. <laughs> and maybe in the future, if you guys want some more natural hair videos, like a wash routine or a wash day or something like that, I can give you guys that because I'm on my natural hair until I get my hair done for my birthday. Yeah, I'm getting my hair done for my birthday in two weeks, exactly two weeks. So I will be doing natural hairstyles until then. So maybe you guys might see them in shorts and stuff like that. But either way you see it, you're gonna see it. I'm crying, you're gonna see it. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get it, get it, go. <laughs> just wet it with my little water bottle right here um, before putting in the product so what I'm using for my um, wash and go today is going to be eco star can never get enough of it so sorry um, leave-in conditioner um, and at the end I will be applying my little rosemary drops as well and of course I did show you guys the blow dryer and diffuser that I'll be using so I'm gonna go ahead and attach this just to keep that on standby for later. Okay, I'll do that later actually. <laughs> so while I'm doing this, I just wanted to talk to you guys a little about um, me and my hair growth journey and stuff like that and what I've been doing to grow my hair and what I've done over the years to grow my hair. I know when I did um, my first Big Chop ever, I did a whole video on how I grew my hair before you guys before. Um, so let me go ahead and give you guys the rundown again. So y'all know I cut all my hair off this time, like down to like damn near being shaved. Oh my God. Down to like damn near being 
shave is how long um, is how yeah, how I cut my hair. And for us to see like this kind of growth after two years is pretty great if you ask me. Um, and you know, I know a lot of it has to do with genetics, but these are some of the things that I did to implement hair growth for myself. Now, the thing is, right, you gotta also remember what works for you works for you. Cause you see a lot of people tell you how you should treat your hair, what you should do with your hair. And not everybody agrees with everybody, right? We're in a kind of society where with natural hair, people are doing what just works because everybody's hair is different. I have like three different curl patterns. Ooh, don't want that to happen. So yeah, I have three different curl patterns in my hair specifically, right? So for me, I know how tough it is to like, you know, want to match all your hair together, or be frustrated when one part shrinks more than the other, or be frustrated when one part grows more than the other. Because I feel like the front of my head, I feel like it grows a lot longer and faster than the back of my head. Like this is really good growth for me, if I'm being honest. This is really, really great growth for me. And I'm glad that I'm seeing it. <laughs> um, but it's just a matter of like what's been working for you. So let me tell you guys what's been working for me. Um, so what I've been doing is I have been, uh, I'll do this right now. I have been uh, using um, shampoo this time around. I know in the first like video where I gave tips and stuff like that, I said that I don't use shampoo whenever I am washing my hair. But I think your shampoo matters a lot, which is why I like, Lately, I've been using the Targeted Scalp Shampoo, and I think I like that a lot because like, it makes your hair super duper clean. And I make sure that my hair is fully soaked in water before I uh, wash my hair. That was actually a tip that I got from uh, Fola. Um, soaking your hair completely before you actually go in with shampoo helps a lot. Just knowing that your hair needs that moisture. I'm not just talking about like the products that you put in it, because your hair needs water more than it needs products. Okay, so just knowing that your hair needs that moisture is the first step, I feel like, with your your process of like, you know, growing your hair out. Making sure that you're washing and conditioning and what you're washing and conditioning with. Some of my favorite products to wash and condition with are Miel products. I love using Miel products. I love using, um, like I said, I love using Taraji P. Henson's line, um, especially for that targeted uh, scalp wash. It makes my hair so clean. I actually don't know why more people aren't talking about it. So, yeah, that's definitely something that I do to grow my hair. Another thing that I've been doing to make sure that my hair grows is I've been putting my hair in protective styles. I mean, if I can get braids done, I'm gonna get them done. If I can make sure to rock some cornrows for a long amount of time, I'm gonna rock the cornrows for a long amount of time. Wig braids, keep them in as long as I can and re, 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 re wear those wigs. So that's another thing that's been helping me as well a lot. I know that's like one of the first things that I said in my um, first video that I ever did on me and how I grow my hair. But like protective styles like just are so important during that growth process. They just are. They just are really important. Because I'm the kind of girl that doesn't like seeing my hair super duper short. Not all the time. Like when it goes through that awkward phase, I mean. Because like whenever my hair was like, you know, super short, I don't mind wearing it out like that. But like when I say the awkward phase, y'all know that length. Y'all know exactly what length I'm talking about. Yeah, that one. Um, that's how I feel. I just feel like I don't want to wear my hair out in that length and that's something I'm still working on like knowing that my hair is beautiful at any length and at any way like any way that looks like it's beautiful but it's something I'm still working through you know are all applied oh my god this looks like such a messy situation y'all i hate looking at mess but um anyway so i went ahead and attached the diffuser just now and now it's time for me to go ahead and start diffusing my hair i know it's going to take a minute because i was a little heavy-handed on product but i just want to make sure that like i got it everywhere and i certainly did <laughs> 
I certainly did. Now the front of my hair, as I've told you guys numerous times before, is a lot looser than the rest of my hair. Um, now this is not heat damage, it's just how my hair grows. It doesn't matter how many times I big chop, it always grows like this. So um, yeah, I just want to go ahead and show you guys what we're looking like before we start diffusing. And then after we diffuse, we are going to do the um, picking with this one right here. out real quick with this um, comb that has a pick at the end and I think I might go back in and blow dry pick it real quick too a little bit more because I did just a little bit of that using the blow dryer with the pick end I don't know I'm liking her so far I look like a natural curly wow I just wanted to be super big and I know it'll get bigger um by day two which is tomorrow obviously but yeah I just want it to be like super duper big bigged out bigged out means big picked up big picked up what big picked up <clears throat> big picked up okay wow that was the smoothest Done and I don't want to overdo her, but I'm going to. <laughs> channel and if you guys would like to see more natural hair videos because you know we are back on the rail after looking this good baby what this is on me wow wow y'all this is like the natural hair i've always wanted on my head to like be wearing out um i literally stopped myself from wearing my natural hair because i never thought i could get it to look like this but 
I, maybe I was just lazy, I guess. But anyway, like I said, I was literally exiting the video. So if you guys like this video, go ahead and like this video if you liked it. Comment down below what you liked about it and subscribe to your girl's channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure to comment down below what you guys would like to see as far as more natural hair videos because I can't wait to continue to give them to you guys because look at this. Uh, the material. Ugh. Oh my God. Anyway, I'm so amazed with my hair. So I will see you guys in the next video. Stay blessed and beautiful gems. I love you so much. Smooches. Mm-hmm. <laughs>